Hello, boys and girls. I'm here to share a little bit of what's been going on this summer in my um, little butterfly zone. You see my pretty butterflies. This is my monarch caterpillar habitat. I have two of them, thanks to my good friend, Mrs. Knopp. And I want to show you, if I can, what all is happening. Um, I think something exciting might happen while we're talking. So that's what I'm hoping for. So I have lots of caterpillars in here. You can see through the film that little guy. He still has a lot of growing to do. And I think there's probably about maybe a dozen in here all together. That's kind of a lot, but that's where I'm at. They start out so tiny that I have to use a magnifying glass, and I don't even know if you can see that little speck there on the leaf. That is a newborn um, monarch caterpillar. And there's another one on this one. Let's see if I can get it. Um, it's so tiny that you almost can't see, but do you see that little tiny speck? That's a monarch caterpillar too. So they start out super tiny like that, and I keep them, because they're so tiny, in a separate spot so that they have a little time to grow before they get together with all the others. So that's what this is all about in this one. All right. Now this one, now I'm going to climb up so you can see better, um, is pretty exciting right now. So this one has... Like I said, about a dozen are in here. I just brought a new piece of milkweed. Do you see that um, plant down there? It is um, the only thing that they will um, lay their little eggs on, the monarch butterfly, because it's the only thing they eat. So the bottom of the leaf is kind of soft and a little bit fuzzy and the monarch butterfly will put their um, eggs on the bottom of the leaf and the leaf is then the food. So that's kind of cool. So you won't see them anywhere else in your garden, these little caterpillars, um, unless you have milkweed of some kind. So this guy just came up today. See him moving around so much, um, which is exciting. He's gonna be looking for a spot and he see how his head is going back and forth and back and forth like that. He is starting to get his um, silk spinning and he'll find a good spot, which I don't really think that is because it's right by my zipper and I'm still adding food. So that kind of always makes it tricky, but that's okay. And he'll go back and forth and back and forth and he will make a little white button you see this guy's, I don't, it's kind of hard to see. A little white button. And then his, I'm sorry, his um, back little, oh gosh, I should know all these before I start talking to you. All these names. He has, he has legs in the front. Those are his real legs, but the legs in the back are not actually legs. They just kind of help push off. And the two very back ones, they are going to use to attach to that little button. And they turn kind of in this J shape for about a day or a day and a half. And that's where that guy is. That one's name is um, Abed. We name them all. So these are actually after um, TV characters. Last year I did musicians. The year before that, I named them all after baseball players. So it just depends on what's going on in the world. Um, I've also named them after artists, so um, it's a lot of fun. So I encourage you to be on the lookout for milkweed. They have it, it usually grows kind of on the side of the road or just kind of naturally out um, in the wild. And if you see it, don't ever take it out of the ground, leave it there for our beautiful monarch butterfly friends. So I was telling you about um, Abed here. 
he is hanging in a J shape and he's been totally still for the last day or so. But now something very strange is going to happen. He's going to start wiggling. And I say he, I really don't know if they're boys or girls actually until they're um, fully out of their chrysalis. And then I look at their wings. The boys have a black dot, um, one on the left, one on the right, and the girls do not. So that's how I can tell the difference. And you can too. So he's going to start probably rocking. And if it gets too long, I might um, turn this off. But once um, the little antennas, do you see the antennas? They look kind of crinkly um, on his head. This guy is not at that stage yet. So his antennas look nice and perky and still very good. This guy too. See his good antennas? So he's not ready to change. But once the antennas kind of start to droop and he's been hanging in that J shape for a while, he will start to rock and oh, it's happening. His skin will start to split. Now, I don't know if you can see at the bottom of um, the caterpillar, there's kind of this bright green Um, showing that is what I'm talking about. So that caterpillar is creating a chrysalis and it's just amazing. Amazing and you're getting to see it. I can't believe it. All right. I feel like I should be very quiet because that's a very important job that it's doing. You see that? He's kind of wiggling and he's working at it. And pretty soon his skin will be shed. No more stripes. No more green or yellow. What color are monarchs, boys and girls? Do you know? Do you remember? They are orange and black. That is correct. So there you see it. I caught it. Isn't that incredible? It doesn't look like a caterpillar anymore, does it? it kind of looks like a funny bug. Or maybe some kind of lima bean or something. Is that bright color? It's still wiggling. Isn't that incredible? Are you just so amazed? Oh my goodness. And there you saw it, boys and girls. You just watched my friend Abed make his beautiful chrysalis. And right now it still looks kind of... Uh, wiggly. And it's working so hard to be free of that old skin. Do 
it, do you? I really do. And then tomorrow morning when I get up, I'll take a picture for you. It'll take a little while, but something very magical will happen. Scientists can't figure it out. All of a sudden, oh, he did it. Yay. No more old caterpillar skin. That was amazing. I got to see it, and now he'll get very still, and he'll probably still keep changing a little bit. I'll show you in the morning. Like I said, something kind of magical happens. The um, chrysalis will kind of take a little bit different shape, and it will get gold. Looks like a little ring or metallic. It looks like metal around... Um, the side of the chrysalis, and it'll even have a few little um, sparkles on the chrysalis in different places. So it'll get a ring, and it will get um, a few sparkles. So we'll see what happens with this guy. He's working so hard up here, trying to figure out where to put his silk. I hope he um, picks a different spot, because like I said, I still have to put the food in for the others. Um, but there's one two, three, and four up here plus Abed. And I will give them names once they each make their little chrysalis. Okay? And then I'll be back at another time when it's time for um, them to emerge. How would that be? Wouldn't that be fun to see? I'll try to catch that on um, video too. So until later, boys and girls, watch for the pictures. I'll post... Um, but that's what's going on in Mrs. Eichhorst's little butterfly world. See? The, from the babies to the caterpillars. And hopefully, very soon, we will also have some lovely butterflies to release. And um, that will be so much fun. All right. Take care, friends. See you soon. Bye-bye.